Welcome back to the show, and we're having a conversation with our actress Zun Wu in I've O Nile Show. And now we're going to be talking about the beauty standards. And I think it's such an amazing topic to talk to with the star of beauty in the acting world, I might say. <laughs> so you know, you have a very interesting background. Um, you've moved to Thailand when you were. 15 years old. 15. Um, you was born in in the north in yeah, Hanoi, in Hanoi yes. and then now you're living in Saigon. <laughs> you you know exposing to different cultures. So, um, do you think that the concept of beauty is defined differently in the societies and different societies? Yeah, I think that we are nowadays we have chances yes. to browse the internet, to watch TV, to to watch movies from different countries, and we. Get to see beauty queens from different countries, from mm -hmm. different races, and um, it's hard to really define mm. who's pretty and who's not. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So yeah. I agree to that to that quote because mm -hmm. I can only tell someone is pretty when I see them, and then it, it just what comes to my mind mm -hmm. from the first time looking at them. It, I, I cannot tell like what in them that is pretty. It just yes. You're pretty, that's all. It's based on the feelings and how it's we feel. It's based on the feeling, yeah. Yes. We can be beautiful and pretty in different ways. We can also be beautiful in our own way. We don't need anyone to say that you're pretty. It's just that's that right. I just have to look in the mirror. I just have to like how I look today and mm -hmm. then I feel pretty about it. And mm -hmm. then that's how I feel pretty. Yeah. And that's when you look the prettiest. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, think I do believe that the concept of beauty standards now is totally different from 100 years ago. The beauty of standards just change every day in every society. Um, so what sort of things do you think affect our concept of beauty? Um, to me, beauty divides into two parts. Yes. Physical beauty and, and inner beauty. Yeah. So uh, physical beauty is what you see mm -hmm. from the first sight. You can feel that this person looks pretty and that's yeah. just all about the look. Mm -hmm. But for inner beauty, you have to you have to get to know them, mm -hmm. and you have to see whether this person is really nice from from the inside. I mean, yes. yeah. So uh, to me, that's two different things. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes when you meet someone that's really pretty, they're really good looking, but then they they are not that nice. Nice, yeah. yeah. And then the whole thing just like. Yeah. It collapse, yeah. Wow. So, I so, can feel that. So yeah, it's it affects a lot. The, mm -hmm. in, the inner beauty affects a lot. But then, to be honest, mm -hmm. when you first meet someone, the, the the first thing that you that that attracts you is the physical beauty first. Yes. Yeah, and then that's why we have to take care of ourselves all the time because mm -hmm. if you look good, if, uh, if you look pretty, then people yeah. kind of like you from the first impression, and then they will have time. Will try to know you more, and then that's when you get the chance for people to know you. So mm -hmm. that's why we always have we always have to take care of ourselves first, both inside out. I think. Wow, that's a very practical advice. I think, and ourselves is the very first person that we should take care of. Like take good care of from the tiny thing in our life. Maybe stay hydrated, drink water, yeah, drink more maybe water, smile more, sleep more. more. <laughs> yeah, sleep more. <laughs> And that's not only for other people to look at, it's also for yourself because mm -hmm. you feel more confident, you feel happy when you see yourself in the mirror and you look pretty, mm -hmm. you feel happy about it. It's yeah. not only for others, it's for yourself as well. That's right, for yourself first and for yeah. others to look maybe the second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for yourself first and to feel good is to look good yeah. inside okay. and outside. Wow, that's, that's very amazing. And I think this is also a message for the audience who are watching that just take care of yourself and showing yourself the ultimate respect. And that is when you attract what you deserve because you deserve the best. You just need to become the best version of yourself and then everything will come into the good place. So how about you take care of your inner self? Like when you're sad, when you're negative, how do you When do? I'm stressed, I usually listen to music because mm -hmm. I don't know, it somehow makes me feel way better. And music also a way that I will use to change my feeling when I need to act in, in a movie. Yes. When, when I need the mood to, to feel, to act in a movie, I will listen to music. I will listen to sad music when I need to feel sad. Ah. I, will listen, I will listen to happy music when I need to light my mood up. Yeah, something wow, like that. Wow, same, so it I do the same. Lot, yeah. Nice, so it's, you know, we have different ways of taking care of ourselves physically and mentally. 
So for those who are still insecure and who say, oh, I'm not pretty, or like, I cannot, I can never be as pretty as her, as pretty as I them. I got that feeling before, what trust you me. Say? You're not the only one. I felt that before too. Yes. I, I used to feel that I'm very ugly. And then, you know, there was like a wish, wish paper that wow. you write in there mm -hmm. and then you put it in the bottle. I used to do that. I used wow. to write that I wish that I could become prettier. And then I did that because I was so insecure about myself back then. So mm -hmm. you're not the only one if you ever feel that before, but then you can change that. You're, you're the only one who yeah. can change that. And you're the only one who can make you feel prettier and look prettier. And that decision is in your hand. So please, first of all, believe in yourself. Second of all, take care of yourself and know that you're not alone. Everyone is pretty in their own ways.